Yeah, uh, hi, my name is Micha, um, as he said, um, and uh, I like turtles. Um, no, but really, I like emoji. I'm I'm a huge emoji fan, as everyone from Top Talk can can say. Like, I think this is the this is the next revolution, because um, like you come here, you have Cyrillic everywhere. I can't read that shit. Uh, I go to Israel, it's Hebrew everywhere. I can't read this shit. But like turtle, everyone knows this is turtle, right? You don't need anything, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna screw everyone up who has a laptop open because we're doing this now. So so yeah, wait, yeah. Don't be like this guy, right? So if you have laptop in your, like, don't be like that guy, right? Don't be. So if you have laptop on your whatever, close it, put it down, because we're doing this, right? Okay? Are you guys ready? Okay, we're gonna go from this direction to that direction. Okay? Okay? Three, two, one, let's go. And back, and back, and back, and back. Come on, come on. Yay! Oh, give yourself a, a round of applause. Come on. That went super well. Good job. Right, so I'm from Slovenia, and um, this is from the hockey game from Slo Slovenia and Belarus, and <laughs> these are Slovenian guys, right? So, so this, is how, this is how you remember Slovenia, right? But this is how I remember Belarus. This is the head coach of hockey team, and they lost against Slovenia for Olympic qualifier. So, you know, I feel pretty good about that, because we're going to Olympics and you're not. Anyway, so enough about that. Um, come on, little Mac. Okay, so yeah, who am I? I'm a software developer. I'm a team lead as well. I am Git Blame Navigator. That's basically what I do the whole day. I, I am Git Blaming all the time. And whenever someone has time zone problem, they usually ping me. Not because I know more, but it's just because I wrote one thing that concern time zones, and now everyone thinks I'm a some time zone master. But yeah, what I do also, I create emojis in Slack. Because this is, I love this parrot. But if I give you a, a business card, this is what it says on it. I, I'm a senior rubber duck, like people, people talk to me. Anyway, let's get to the flame graphs. Um, you heard it today a couple of times, what are flame graphs? Uh, flame graphs are, the only time you're allowed to use this animation in, in Keynote. Um, they were mentioned yeah, a couple of times, as I said. Uh, they're a good thing for um, like narrowing down where the problems are. And what we are going to be doing today, um, as the last talk, I'm going to explain how you read this. Um, now, I know the next thing is party, so I'll try to be short, because I know you all just want to go home, so yeah. But let's, let's still dive into this. Um, what they are, as they are uh, visualization of stack traces. I'll explain this later. And uh, the most notable thing about them is they are useful to total beginners and also to experts. Um, and basically this Brandon guy, he works at Netflix and he created them. Because um, the original problem he has was this. This is what D-Trace give you. It's a, it's a CPU profiler output and come on, no one can read this shit, right? So, so he was like, how can I parse this in a visual way so that it will make sense? And he came up with this. So from this to this, I mean, come on, that's awesome. And the most important thing you have to know about flame graphs, at least for me when I started, they are ordered by alphabet. So every one of these rectangles is, is, a, is a method or a function. Um, wait, before we go forward, who here has used flame graphs? Awesome, so you don't know about it, that's great. Right, so every one of this rectangle represents a function, and here is the function name, right? So this is C code, but whatever. Um, and they are ordered, they are grouped and order, ordered by alphabet, and I'll explain later how this happens. Um, but um, by y-axis, so by height, you can see the depth. So the further up you go, the, le the more things this method calls. So every, like, this method called that method, that called that method, and so on, and so on, and so on, and you come to, to the end. And directly on top, you can see which function led to the profiling event. So what happened when we were profiling? 
And um, width is actually relative. So it's always 100%. It's always 100% of the time you were profiling. And every width is relative to the amount of that time. So right now you're like, what the hell is he talking about? Right. So I'll, I'll bring it down. Right. Let's start with sampling. Um, we take a time interval. Um, I will show this on my day of like what I do. And we set our time for ourselves. So every n, whatever, seconds, milliseconds, nanoseconds, we will sample what's happening. And we will look at what action led to the other action. So when I start my day, I'm reading my emails. So reading emails led to my day. So let's put this down, right? And then I was replying to emails, because I was reading them, and then I was replying. So replying, let, so reading, rest, replying, so we go down, and you see this was my day. And then I move forward, and I write some code, and I write some tests. Yeah, sorry, I don't do TDD. I write code first. And then I run those tests, and you know, you have to fix those tests. You know how it happens. And then I go back, and I run some tests, some more. And then like, my productivity goes low, and I make myself an espresso. And some time passes, and I go back to reading emails, because you can't like, drink coffee and code, you just do something else. Uh, and I go back to writing code, running tests, and replying to my emails again. So this is what we end up with. This is like a really, really simple flame graph. And what we do next is we group this. Right? So we now grouped it, um, the same things together. Um, let's show again. So this is how it was, and we just grouped it. All right? And now we magically have these bigger squares. And you see the whole, the, the whole rectangle down below is my day. That was reading emails, and a part of it was replying as well. This here was writing code. And here I was writing tests. And both of these, I was running those tests. And there I was fixing the tests. And here, you know, coffee. Um, but like, you, you see the majority of the day I spent writing code. So if we want to optimize, let's say, or maybe you say, oh no, he's reading emails too much. He has to write more code, right? So maybe we have to optimize there. Or we see, oh no, he's like fixing the test or whatever. We, we have to fix that. But basically what flame graphs gives you is they give you a good overview of what's happening for how long and where to optimize, where the problems are. Um, it depends a lot how you read it on what it is that you're looking for. Like, uh, is it the problem that a thing is taking too long? Is it the problem that the thing is run? Then you are just look, um, like what was calling that? So if running tests is something you're interested in, that you'd be interesting that writing code can produce running and also writing tests can produce running tests, right? So this is something you'd be interested in. So yeah, let's, let's dig a bit deeper. Like I said, every one of them is a function. Um, it's, it's a merge, right? So like I said, it's grouped and merged, and it shows how long it took. And it doesn't mean it happened once. It could happen many times. But it, we grouped it all together. And they, they follow down, like, yeah, like I said, every, do, every one is a function. And if you go up, you see the stack depth. So the, the further up you go, the bigger the depth is, and vice versa. Um, and yeah, the top function is what led to the current event. So here, this is a function here for the short amount. E was the top function, and we have F the majority of the time, and like a small part there was D. And um, yeah, basically what I just showed. Um, and this is how ancestry is explained. So what is, what is able to call something. And just like ordered by alphabet, it could be ordered by anything. The, the reason we chose alphabet is just because it's simpler. Um, you could just order it by whatever, however you like, but it's simpler to have alphabet and um, order it like that. Because that was my first misconception the first time I saw flame graph. I thought they were like time series that happened like this happened, that happened, that happened, that happened, but it's not. It's like it, it does not matter at all when it happened. It's just this all happened while we were profiling, and we, were, we grouped it, and we sorted it. And like I said, this is relative. So this was total time on CPU. It's, it's pretty simple. Now, yeah, some of you saw that I have some t-shirts here. So who wants a t-shirt? A couple of people, right. Ah, I'm not so nice as Bojidar. You'll have to work for it. 
right? Uh, but first, yeah, I have to I have to say I think or two about TopTal because they were the one who got me here, and you can see these guys everywhere. They are the majority of the crowd currently. Like there's a lot of us. There's a lot of us, and we all work for TopTal. And I'm pretty sure if you ask any one of them, like we really like working here because unlike any other company, we are 100% remote. There is no offices. So you can still work in an office if you want, but you don't have to. You can work at home. You can work in a co-working space. You can work in, I don't know, Thailand, whatever you want. Like, um, yeah, it's, it's really great. And um, I have TopTal stickers. Um, people from TopTal have TopTal stickers. And if you want to join us, come talk to me. I'm also an interviewer, so, you know, buy me a drink, maybe. Um, right, so for the t-shirts, I have three t-shirts, I have three questions. So, the first question, which function is on the CPU the most? No. <laughs> it's not A. What did you say? F. F. Yes, it's F. Because that was, e A was just like the ancestry of F. So, S, uh, no, sorry, M, L, or XL. Excel. Eight. Eight. Uh, this one. There you go. Okay, okay. Next. Why is F on the CPU? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Because it was called by, I have now L or M. Okay. okay, there you go. Great. Okay, last one. How does B compare to G? So how does this compare to this? You already have one. Don't cheat. Anyone? No one wants a shirt. Yeah, but... Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, that's true. But how do they compare to each other? They're not equal. B is bigger, yeah. And what does that mean? No, no one gets a t-shirt. You, you weren't listening, really. But yeah, so we see that this was on CPU, like, not directly, but it was in the stack about 10 times more than G. So if we have a problem that something was slow, it makes sense to optimize either in B or C. Right. So I'll just throw this, because you failed. Who wants an M? You have it. No. No, I don't care. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> chill, chill. Right, so um, I know this looks cool, and I know most of you are Ruby developers, so the simplest way to start is by, with this gem, Flame Graph. Uh, Sam Saffron wrote it. Um, it's really, really simple. Your work here. Like, you do whatever you want there, and it will generate a Flame Graph. Um, now, this is, this is the simplest approach possible, but there are better ones. Like, you can use StackProf, who uses StackProf? Okay, you should use StackProf. Like, Google it. Um, it allows you, by using some C APIs, like Arabic profile frames, it, it can see what was on VM, and with that, it can tell you what was happening. And with all this information, it can generate a flame graph of, let's say, a request you had with Rails. And with that, you can see where the problems are. Um, like, for example, we had with TopTal block. And yes, we do have this domain. It's fucking amazing. So who knows TopTal blog? A couple of people. Good. It's a, it's a pretty good blog. Um, a lot of people write on it. You can write on it if you want. You just need to contact our editors. Um, and we had this interesting thing. Um, we were grading SEO for every post. And with that, we basically checked some keywords, we checked internal links, external links, we checked how many links there are in the, in the article, how complex it is to read, like a lot of this stuff. And we had one academic post which was really long, it had lots of code in it, it had lots of chart, lots of tables, and it took like 10 seconds to, to generate those um, SEO, like how, how good it is, right? So it was a problem. So I generated a flame graph. I will now switch to Chrome, hopefully if this will work, and I will, yeah, the moment I find my mouse will be a nice moment, right, 
Okay. So this is what uh, that flame graph looked like. So like you see on flame graphs, um, whoops, yeah. um, you can click. So why is, why is this happening? Oh, I had something pop up here. Wait. Yeah. So when I am mov moving the mouse, you can see here. Oh, yeah, I don't need internet for this. Yeah, you can see here what was happening. So we can see services graders post on line 57. We were in keywords report, and we had 1,041 samples of this happening. Right? And, and you can move along, and you see, like, these are all the same thing. Like, they are all happening here. And by just examining this quickly, you see that we have 10 nearly identical spikes. So what the first thing that I found out was that we are caching in the wrong place. So we are caching, actually, but every time we are checking a new thing, we throw that cache away, and we run the whole um, post through Nokogiri again to, gen to generate links and everything. And um, turns out, if I'll be able to switch a tab, yeah, okay. Turns out that if you cache on the right place, you only get one spike. And if I will be able to switch Back to Keynote, okay. Seriously? Okay, yeah. This is the original, so we cached cram down, and it turned out we had 7.5 point improvement. All right, let's try this again. Okay, so, yeah, and, and this was the, the graph. And another thing, yeah, what I wanted to show you, it's, it's interactive, you can move around. Uh, down below, you can see for every one of those gems, they're like the, the color codes are gems, and you can see how long every one of those was on the stack. And with another thing you can do, like if you are sort of unsure what this is, you can just click it, and you get the whole frame info. You, you get all the stack trace, what called what, it's amazing, right? It really is. Amazing. And uh, 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 I'll just quit. Yeah. Go back here. Okay. And yeah, so we did some more optimizations. We did and we got almost an X improvement. And this was done in the course of an hour with like flame graphs. And like this, this is what you can see with it. Like, for example, me, I didn't even had to go down below because this, I already have like fast enough. It's fast enough. We can do something else now. Um, but you, I could, I could see like why is this taking so long? Why is it all this color? There, there has to be something there. But I didn't need to. But I saw in the first one, right? I saw here that we have the same spike ten times. So definitely something there. Um, and this is something that only you, you could only see with flame graph. And this is. Yeah, it's worth it. Um, yeah, so now what? You're here, so that's good. The, like half of people aren't, so shame on them. Um, you can ask me about this after on the, on the party or just now after the talk, or you can ask someone smarter than me. Uh, you can ask literally anyone else. Anyone here is probably smarter than me. Uh, what I really recommend is how I learned this shit is through blog posts. Uh, there's a lot of quality content from Brandon who wrote this uh, from... Um, people who wrote the Ruby Jam, uh, Sam Saffron wrote a lot about it. Um, it's it's pretty good. Um, yeah, but if you want to talk about to me and don't want to talk about flame graphs, we can talk about coffee. Um, this is this is my espresso machine. I'm really proud of this. Like yes, I love coffee. I love mechanical keyboards. I have test switches somewhere here. So if anyone is interested in like mechanical keyboards and doesn't know doesn't know whether to go with blue with Red with brown, I have the switches, so just come see me. And I love running as well. I have Ruby Slovenia stickers, like I said, I'm from Slovenia. Uh, so if you want those cool stickers, you can come to me as well. And um, yeah, like I said, I, I know you all want to go to that party, so let's just finish here, and thank you. Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs>
Let's have questions. No one wants to drink beer. No, we have some more spice. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, have you actually sampled your workday? No. Like with Flame Graph? No. No. Uh, that was just <laughs> presentation purposes only. Got because it. I'm pretty sure the coffee would be much, much bigger, and I, I don't, <laughs> don't want to sample that. Either I did a really good job or a really terrible job. One of those. Anyway, yeah, thank you. Okay.